Hello everyone, Trophy100, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a review of the uh, Domain Roblo Marchand 2021 Chambord Moussigny Premier Cru Le Fouy. And so a couple of things on this. So first of all, let's talk about the winery. So uh, Roblo Marchand, I can't find a lot about it, but what I think is that now um, it is owned by Frederick Roblo, who has, and it's been in their family since 1910. And they typically or traditionally have been selling the grapes to other wineries. I couldn't find out which ones, but systematically, um, Frederick, who took over in 2001, started to put out wines through his own um, label. Now, I've seen online other wines of Roblox Morchon before 2001, but they were in Estrasso. And so it seems to me that um, this wine, for instance, La Fouille, the first vintage is around 2013. So he's been systematically doing that. They're, they have about eight hectares of um, vineyard all over Burgundy, um, mostly in Vaughan Romany and Chambord Wissigny. And they have actually four Premier Cru sites in Chambord. So I am going through the different Premier Cru sites in Chambord Wissigny. There's, I think, 21 of them. And there are also two Grand Cru sites being on one end, Vaumer, and on the other end, um, Wissigny. And so um, this one is close to Vaumer. So it's probably, it's on the southern uh, tip. And so you think that it's probably gonna be a little bit more like a Vaumer than a Wissigny. And that means it's gonna be more, uh, a little bit more savory than fruity. Um, so La Fouy, um, the region is actually quite large. It's about 4.4 hectares, and uh, along with Le Marais and um, I think La Charme, those are two uh, other Premier Cru sites in uh, Chambon City that are bigger than La Fouy. La Fouy's um, soil is rocky limestone, and it does, uh, the, it's very shallow soil and it provides excellent drainage which stresses the vines and leads to um, a reduction of both vigor and yield. So the winery's um, name, the Fouy, is actually um, a traditional Burgundy term for the area that a man could uh, turn with a hoe in a single day's work. So here is the cork. Um, it's pretty nondescript in terms of the cork. It's not um, from its winery, so um, the length is pretty good. It's kind of medium. Uh, length is not long um, so that would tell you that's probably not the highest end of producers so there is uh, La Fouy Premier Cru Chambon Wissigny from Roblox Marchand not much on the back but I did want to show you the color this is under very bright light and it's still you can see look at the color is very dark um, not what you would associate normally typically with a Pinot Noir from Burgundy let's taste the wine and I will let you know, I had this open uh, yesterday and I'm drinking again today. Um, when it came out of the bottle, I did not decant it, but it was quite aromatic and it did have that um, structure um, like Beaumar or like Richbourg, a little bit more like darker fruit as compared to cherry um, and a little bit more um, austerity, a little bit more tannic. Um, so very familiar. Um, and that's what I'm finding with all these wines that I'm drinking now. With the Premier Cru um, Chambon Moussigny that are come from different vineyards, they're good, but they don't have the distinctiveness of the um, Premier Cru's that are from a single vineyard. And what I'm finding is that those that are from near to Bon Mer, they are a little bit more um, structured, tannic, a little bit more darker fruit. Um, and the ones that are near uh, Musigny are a little bit more um, softer, a little elegant uh, in style. So let's taste and smell the wine. So on the smell of this wine, um, it does have that um, dark fruit, um, like black currant, um, like boysenberry type smell, a little bit of astringency, um, and then um, come floral elements but more like violets not like roses um,
you know, on the fruit, black currant, um, black berries, black plums, um, a little bit of black cherry on the, on the end, good acidity, um, not extremely long on the length, but um, a lot of structure, a little bit more tannins than you'd expect from a uh, bone region or even other parts of Chambon Wissini. So I like the structure of this wine. And that's really what I like about Chambon. It's always um, quite structured. It's a little bit heavier um, in terms of uh, a Pinot style. And um, yeah, it's got a little bit more mid palate and a really intensity of flavors and especially intensity of dark fruits. And I do find that um, with Balmer also. And that's and towards Richbourg. I know Richbourg is not in Chambon, but this is kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah, this has got a very, it doesn't have high tannins, but it's got structure and it's got an intensity of fruit um, that's not too acidic, that's really balanced, that I think people that normally or typically drink entry-level Burgundy uh, would be surprised. When we're getting up to this level, it's kind of, that's um, a better, bit better representation of what Burgundy should taste like. Um, it is kind of pricey for what it is in BC liquor stores. It's about $191 before tax. A little pricey for what it is, but a great wine. Um, my rating of this would be 91 points. Hope you've enjoyed this tasting. Until next time, happy drinking.